Hi guys. So here's a new little item that I've bought and it's a little box lift, a scissor box lift, very basic. Um, and this is because on the Honda CB500X um, I have the Rally Raid uh, engine guard on, uh, which is basically uh, underneath is just steel, flat steel plate uh, and no centre stand. So the issues faced there is um, actually maintaining the bike and uh, actually things like just doing the chain or taking wheels off or literally doing anything where I needed to lift it. Uh, I didn't want to go for a full bike lift because I haven't really got the room in the garage that I'm using uh, but I did want something that I could just lift it up sufficient to uh, you know to do the odd jobs that I need to do. Um, so this uh, cost around about £44 uh, it's not branded um, and uh, I've seen one or two reviews on YouTube which uh, suggest it sort of works, you know, it does the job. Uh, there are probably better ones out there, um, hydraulic type lifts, um, however uh, they become a little bit more bulky and uh, you've got the uh, situation of storage and also uh, with the Honda CB500X and its uh, engine guard on, you know the ground clearance isn't that of a you know an off-roader. So uh, there's ground clearance issues um, from a point of view of some of the bigger stands. Uh, it's it's obviously not a problem. It hasn't proved a problem riding the bike even on trail rides. But uh, some of the other stands that I've looked at, um, they're a little bit uh, bulky to get underneath the uh, the engine guard. Anyway, however, this is uh, this has come to me around about forty four pounds. Um, there's a, there's a few different suppliers. Uh, that, as I said, they're unbranded. Um, they're obviously made in China, which I guess everything is. Uh, the first little look at it is uh, that it is uh, seems fairly uh, decent, uh, decent solid quality. Um, it's uh, certainly uh, nice and heavy. Um, the Load weight on it is supposed to be 500 kilogram. Uh, so our the Honda CB500X uh, is under 200. I think about 190 something. I don't know, maybe 185. I, I can't quite remember now. But it's certainly under 200 kilogram. Uh, and this is designed uh, as a specification to lift 500 kilogram. So that's how it came in the box. Um, Basically, it's just the scissor lift, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, which has a rubber matting on top, uh, which should work quite well with my uh, configuration. In the um, advert, it did say that it came with um, some little legs. That's, but I don't think it. To be honest, I think there's a little bit of confusion here. Um, it said there's uh, attachable legs, and I think that's more to to fit with a bike that's got um, that that basically hasn't got a sump guard, an engine guard. Uh, but the other thing it said it came with was a handle, and it hasn't. <laughs> so somewhere along the lines, their um, their actual uh, advert is uh, is wrong. Uh, I have sent them an email to clarify that, but in truth. Um, I've got a socket set and uh, uh, obviously you just put a socket on the end of that and just uh, wrench it up. Uh, so I don't think it's a particular problem and I think it's just a, I think it's just um, how it's been uh, portrayed on the advert and the advert's wrong basically. Um, it doesn't, from my initial look at it with the nice heavy duty feel of it, that doesn't uh, detract from the, uh, the thing I've bought actually. So what we'll do is I'll just uh, give it a little lift now because I've not looked uh, looked at it in the lifted position. So we'll just have a little look and see what that looks like. Back. Okay, guys. So this is where that we're going to put the socket on just to lift it, and it's a twenty-two millimeter socket uh, for this one anyway. Uh, there's a few I've seen advertised, and they, they all look identical. Uh, so let's just see how we get on with this. Yeah. Be interesting to see uh, how it lifts the bike and uh, how much effort I have to put into it then, but it's quite easy, obviously, with no weight on it. Okay, guys, so 
yeah, it looks uh, it looks nice quality. Looks uh, well, it looks it looks really suitable, heavy duty, um, and it uh, yeah, it looks the part. I've positioned it um, as level as I can sort of figure under the uh, rally raid engine guard, and that's in its down position. Just to give you a couple of uh, sizes on it, the um, well, you know the capacity. I've told you that it, it can lift, or it should be able to lift, 500 kilogram. These bikes are less than 200, so it should be well within that specification. Um, this height here is 95 millimeter, uh, because what I found with some of the other ones uh, that I was looking at, um, because of the ground clearance on these bikes, the Honda CP500X not being uh, that of say your uh, off-roaders, you know your BMWs, your uh, Yamahas, the, you know the Super Tenere. It's a lower ground clearance. Uh, with the engine guard on, <clears throat> the ground clearance for some of the the, uh, the actual uh, lifts, uh, especially the hydraulic ones, was going to be a bit awkward actually getting it underneath and to start with. So this here, um, the height is 95 millimeter, which is ample clearance to get under this engine guard. Um, the maximum height lift is uh, 370 millimeter, which is a lift up to I think about round about there. So that should be more than enough to get the bike off uh, off the ground. Um, the actual platform size itself, the uh, the longest section, uh, that's uh, 380 millimeter. So from there to there. And the shortest section is 230 millimeter there to there. Uh, so what I've got is a 22 millimeter uh, socket wrench, and um, I'm now just going to gently lift it up and feel my way with it because this will be the first time of uh, doing, and I just want to uh, be a little bit careful uh, in getting it to a point that I can balance it while it finds its uh, level because obviously at the moment it's at an angle the bike on its side stand the actual just to let you know this this feels a bit um when you start to first turn it feels a little bit loose but what as soon as it bites as soon as it starts to grip it firms up uh on the on the actual wrench itself so now i'm lifting it quite easily but I'm going to do it very carefully moment of truth this because uh, I've never done this this is this is literally out the box showed you straight to the bike so I've just I'm just going to slightly adjust that to uh, ensure that it does go up level Or as level as I can see it anyway. So uh, there we go. It is a little bit of trial and error this. So I'm just starting to feel it on the um, the other side, gripping now and lifting. And actually, what I don't particularly want to do is lift it at an angle. So. I'm just going to nip it a little bit further up and then I might just hold the bike up in an upright position. Yeah, and you can see already I can see that I've got this going in at an angle, so I'm just going to drop it down while just keeping hold of the bike. That's it. Hopefully. Let's see how we get on with that now. A little bit of trepidation here because I've never having done it before. Well, that's now um, off the obviously off the side stand, and it's actually now sitting on the supported by the actual uh, scissor lift, uh, and I can actually let go of the bike. <laughs> Nervous, but I can let go of the bike. 
it seems fairly sturdy. I am going to keep all the bike because I'm just a bit concerned about the uh, the first time use of it. So just to give you an idea, the uh, front wheel is now already off the ground. So that uh, wheel is now running and turning free. And the back is still is still touching. So <clears throat> let's uh, just give it a, another little bit of a lift up. I'd actually do this from that side, but then you wouldn't be able to see. So it's a bit cack handed, but you get the point. The bike itself feels fairly sturdy on the uh, on the scissor lift, but the um, the thing that you'd need to do using one of these, if you haven't used one before, is when you've got it off the ground, is to <coughs> is to strap it to something as well. So typically you can strap it to the uh, the lift, but um, what I've seen previously used is. Uh, if you've got it in a garage, is put some hooks up in the uh, in the ceiling, in you know, in a substantial bit of the wood, or on the walls on the side, and then just use some ratchet straps to uh, basically just to hold it in place in case you end up end up dropping it. So the position I've got it at the moment is towards the front of the engine guard and that has brought the front wheel well and truly off the ground so strapped down with the bike strapped and, and kept in position you've got plenty of access there the back at the moment hasn't come off the ground and I think to do that I need to move the stand a bit further sorry the box lift a bit further back so I'm going to do that now just to just to really get get a grip of what uh, the capability is. <clears throat> Let's just try it in that position. It's a bit of trial and error this guys. Okay guys so what we've got now is the stand position a little bit further back. Yeah we've got it positioned a little bit further back now. I'm supporting the bike in an upright position and we're just going to lift it now see what we get this time and ah so what I found this time is we're now getting the because I've positioned the scissor lift towards the back of the engine guard um, we're now getting the rear wheel lifting off it's not quite come away but I can see it lifting the box uh, stand is now supporting the bike, albeit I wouldn't like to leave it without having an arm around it. As I say guys, this is just trial and error because I've never used one of these ever before. And I've never used this before. And this is the first time the thing's been up. Now, we've got it to that position. I can actually let go of the bike, although I wouldn't leave it without strapping it down does feel fairly uh, fairly fixed. I, I could leave go of it now just to actually strap it, but I would definitely strap it down. So there we have our rear wheel. Freely spinning. And that's, uh, what, about five inch off the ground? And there we have our wheel spin. So that's brilliant. To be honest, <laughs> I seriously didn't know how that was going to go. I didn't know how, um, whether the scissor lift would hold the bike in place. Um, as it is, the bike is reasonably firmly in place. Uh, I mean, I'm giving it a little rock and nothing's happening. It's just staying there. But I, I really wouldn't work on it without having some straps on it. So guys, it's worked well. <laughs> Hopefully, over time, it'll uh, maintain uh, 
its usability. Uh, it looks looks solid enough, it feels solid enough when it's going up. Uh, I've managed also since uh, just finishing filming the lifting of the bike, I, I went back and did it again with the um, actual scissor lift, uh, sort of in the middle of the uh, engine guard uh, plate on the bottom and uh, that lifted both wheels off the ground. So both wheels can be lifted off the ground. So yeah, so far uh, it's a thumbs up from me but I will report back after you know sustained use you know over the next 12 months uh, I'll do a review on it once I've used it and used it and it'll maybe be a year off but I will do a review again uh, but now I can uh, very quickly get my chain cleaned maintained uh, I now know that I can easily take a wheel off either side front back uh, to be honest you could take it off both sides but uh, I'd, I'd probably be tempted to leave one tire uh, in connection with the ground and take the other one off if that's what I was going to do. So uh, yeah, brilliant. Thanks a lot for watching.